You ever eat yourself out of a whole wardrobe? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like you start wearing tees. Like I said, I don't have Dodger tees, but I wear a lot of tees, and I didn't realize why I was wearing so many tees. One day I had to dress up. I was in real estate, and I had to dress up, put on a collared shirt, and it just it, it didn't meet. <laughs> Not uncomfortable. Didn't meet. And I was like, holy shit. Okay. And then I go for the other shirt that I knew was always a little baggy. I'm like, that one will fine. Come on, man. It should be fine. It met, but only if I stood. <laughs> Okay, so the other day, my girl asked me, she goes, do you think we get to see our dogs in heaven? Aw, right? that's, that's a sweet question, right? And I told her, I was like, yep, you do. They <laughs> say, no, Jesus Christ, that's an asshole. It's still here, you know what I mean? Like, it can hear me too. But I'm like, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, you do. She's like, really? And I was like, yeah, but here's here's like the hitch. And she's like, oh? And I was like, yeah, because here's the thing. You, the dog goes to heaven too, but because of reincarnation, the dog will come back on a more evolved life for a minute, and it'll be a person in between. And then so by the time you see your dog in heaven, it's, it's probably like a guy. <laughs> like Jeff. You know what I mean? So it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be a minute. It'll be a while. You'll be up there a little while, and then some dude will just come up to you and be like, "Hey, do you have a sack?" And you're like, I, "Yeah, I guess this is heaven. No one should be that creepy. What's up?" And he's like, "I just want to let you know, I was your dog <laughs> for like 12 years when you were a kid." You're like, "Oh my God, Rover!" And he's like, "Rover, yes, <laughs> yes. That's I'm so glad you're excited. I loved having you as a as an owner. And I loved you as a dog." Like, well, I'm so glad we got to connect with him. Listen, I gotta run, because I was also this kid's bullfrog for a minute before I was your dog. I died in the cage. He left me in the sun. I don't like him, but I just I should go say hi. But we should connect though, for real. Like, hit me up. I still like frisbee. <laughs> That's how it works, guys. Because I didn't have the energy to hang out with a lot of friends. But I, I got a girlfriend who's been together forever. She's like, should I invite your friends to a party? I said, I don't, I, I'm tired. <laughs> no, please don't. I, I, I'm glad it's not a surprise. I'm going to not surprise you. But I, I, don't, I don't have energy for that this year. <laughs> As a result, though, it kind of still hit me like on the backside because we still made a cake. And she's super healthy, so she didn't eat any. <laughs> I committed on day two to throwing that cake in the trash. I committed on day two. Day four, I'm just shame finishing that shit. 11 a.m., 11 in the morning, I'm eating confetti cake with a fucking fork. I didn't cut a slice out and put it on a plate. From that glass thing with the lid, I'm just monster, just so much. And every time you know you're gonna embarrass yourself on how far into the cake you're gonna go, oh, just one more letter, just one more letter. I just gotta, I gotta get birthday out of the way. Of course I'll finish birthday this time. This time I'll get my name. Oh, thank God it's gone. It's gone. It's it's gone. But I like I blow it. I feel it. I feel it a little bit. I was wearing a coat on the way in here, and Adam's like, dude, you know it's like 87 degrees. I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, all right. I'll take it off because you called me out, but I kind of, this is my bloat coat. Yes. So I was kind of trying to smoothly pull off. Brittany Griner got nine years in prison. It's horrible. It's political. But on the upside, it is the longest contract anyone's ever offered. A WNBA player. <laughs> Just to be totally honest, it's, it's kind of an outside a little bit. Yeah, yeah let that set in. Uh, and we know it's political because we, we, we know it's political because Russia immediately offered to trade her for an international arms dealer in a U.S. prison. Um, it's not going to happen. But also the highest trade value 
ever offered for a WNBA player as well. <laughs> yeah, they've never cared this much ever about a WNBA player. She's getting more done for the league in court than on the court. 